lovelies and studlies, and welcome to this week's Craft Corner. So this week I am mixing it up a little bit. First of all, happy St. Patrick's Day to all of you everywhere who wants to pretend that they're Irish today. There's that, I've got some green on and whatnot, and we're all just gonna pretend we're Irish today so that we can have an excuse to drink. But whatever. So happy St. Patrick's Day. Today, what we're going to be doing to mix it up a little bit is we're going to be baking. So instead of making a craft today, we are going to be making mint chocolate cupcakes or Andy's cupcakes. And basically, it's going to be a chocolate cake with a mint buttercream frosting. And then we're just gonna put some little decorations in it to make it seem more St. Patty's Day-ish. So I decided that would be a super fun thing to do today. Peter's really excited about it because he gets to try cupcakes. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm super excited and let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to do to make our Andy's chocolate mint cupcakes is make the chocolate cake mix. But before we do that, we are going to preheat the oven. After you've preheated your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to line your cupcake tin with your liners. I found these really cute St. Patrick's Day themed ones at Michael's. And now we can get started on making the actual cake. The first thing that we're going to do is mix together the oil, butter, and sugars. You will need two tablespoons of vegetable oil, six tablespoons unsalted butter softened, a half a cup of white sugar, and a half of a cup of packed light brown sugar. Beat these together until fluffy. Now you'll want to add your two large eggs one at a time, beating well in between each addition. Then beat in your two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Now in a separate bowl, you're going to combine one cup of all-purpose flour, tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, one half teaspoon baking soda, a quarter teaspoon baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now whisk it all together. Then gradually mix the dry mixture into the wet mixture, alternating it with the three quarter cups of milk. Also, make sure to begin and end with the addition of the dry mix. Continue to beat together until well blended. Now that it's all blended together, scoop two tablespoons into each. I use a cookie dough scoop because it makes the entire process just a little bit easier. And now it's time to put them in the oven. And bake for 15 to 20 minutes. While the cupcakes are baking, we're going to work on the mint buttercream frosting. First, you're going to want to start beating your one cup unsalted butter. Mm -hmm. 
Next, add two tablespoons of heavy cream and three cups of powdered sugar. Now we're going to add the peppermint flavoring. Make sure to remember that in this case, a little goes a really long way. So start with just a splash and keep adding little by little until you're happy with how much peppermint flavor you have. And now we're going to turn the frosting green with just a little bit of food coloring. Now that our cupcakes are finally done cooking and smell absolutely delicious, you're going to want to immediately take them out and put them on a cooling rack. Once your cupcakes have completely cooled, you can add on your frosting. After you finish frosting, you can add on any decorations. I have these little rainbow candies because it's for St. Patrick's Day. Thank you guys so very much for checking out today's Craft Corner video. I really hope you enjoyed watching me make my St. Patrick's Andy's chocolate mint cupcakes as much as I did. If you haven't already, I highly recommend going and making these. They are amazing. If you want to see our reactions to us taste testing them, myself and my husband, then head over to my vlogging channel and you can see our reactions over there where I've recorded us trying them and they're amazing. They taste so good. Perfect amount of chocolate and mint and it's delicious and it's the perfect little treat. Thank you so very much for watching today's video. If you liked it, make sure to give a little love tap that thumbs up button to let me know. And make sure that you are the first to know. Hit the button down below and subscribe to my channel to see my new Craft Corner videos that come out every single week. Next week we have a really big project that we're doing to start working on our garden because it's finally spring. But thank you again so very much. I hope you love these cupcakes and I recommend them wholeheartedly. If you'd like to see the blog where I got the inspiration from, make sure to go down below and check them out to see where I got the recipe and things like that. But anyways, thank you again so very much. Happy St. Patrick's Day and I will see you next time. Bye!